what are we doing? Are we gonna sit in the corner all night? It's your birthday. I'm 30 years old. I wear a Hawaiian shirt to work. My boyfriend dumped me in a text. What's that? Stuff in a fire. Burn, burn, burn in the fire. I've been a fan of Susanna's for a long time, um, Susanna Fogel, the, the director and co-writer, um, and had been looking to find a project with her. And when this script came across my desk, I just fell in love with it. I was so struck by how much I was laughing out loud. And um, it's, it's incredibly rare to enjoy a script that thoroughly, especially when you read as many screenplays as I do. Um, and I was just so struck by how authentic and original the voice was. Um, I wasn't surprised because, you know, a lot of that is Susanna, but um, there was just a, a purity of voice to it. I mean, people talk a lot about um, making female-driven movies, not just in the sort of on-trend way of having female filmmakers or what have you, but just in terms of, you know, the female-driven action comedy is sort of a subgenre, and this is truly female-driven because it has the voice and point of view of a woman, and so these characters, as you follow them through these crazy escapades, react the way my friends would, or I think maybe I would. I mean, I don't think anything this extraordinary and crazy will happen to me. I certainly hope not. Um, but yeah, it, um, it, it compelled me, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. It's about friendship. It's about two girls who are growing up together in LA who have not found their purpose yet, who have not found their way. Um, and through the very unexpected bad experience of being ghosted or dumped by her boyfriend, um, Mila Kunis's character finds herself in an extraordinary situation where she has to go out into the world, outside of LA, outside of her little enclave, outside of her comfort zone. Um, and by doing this, with the help and companionship of her friend, who is naturally much more outgoing and daring, she learns to take risks and she finds out what her purpose is and she finds out um, where she really belongs in the world. They both do. What? You're the boss, and yet you have not sacrificed one ounce of femininity. That is the Beyonce of the government.